Hello my friends, hello again. If this is the first time that you are seeing me, my name is Kyle. And here on my channel, Pensando Inglés, making bilingual people is what we do. Today I have a fascinating topic to share with you guys. I'm going to speak in intermediate English, which means that I will be speaking nice and slow and nice and clear so that you can understand me, so that you can understand me. So. Those of you guys who do watch my videos and do already know me, you know that I love to read. Okay, I love to read. Mm. I love to read, and then later I love to share the new information that I learned with you guys in the form of comprehensible input. Okay? Because I think that if I can give you guys content that will help improve your English, but also give you some tools to improve your life, that's some very beneficial content, in my opinion. Today, I am going to talk about a book that I found fascinating, okay? This book has changed my life in a lot of ways. It has given me some tools that I have used to improve my life and to improve myself as a person. And this book is called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. How to Lose Your Mind and Create a New One, okay? It is written by a man named Dr. Joe Dispenza. Dr. Joe is awesome. There's a lot of uh, a lot of videos of his on YouTube you can use for input as well. Just type in Dr. Joe Dispenza or even Dr. Joe Dispenza in Espanol if you want to learn more about the topic, okay? So what is this book about? This book is about meditation. Meditation and how we can use meditation as a tool to improve our lives, okay? So I'm going to tell you guys uh, Dr. Joe's techniques that he goes over in this book, what he thinks meditation can do for, for us, and how I personally use meditation in my life. It's really, really awesome because Dr. Joe, he uses science to prove what meditation can actually do, okay? When he, he teaches people how to meditate, a whole lot of people come to ceremonies of his thousands of people and they all meditate and he uses machines to measure their brain waves and all kinds of uh, different metrics in their body and he actually has scientific proof now of what meditation can do in the human brain and body okay so what are some of the things that dr. Joe says we can change in our lives with meditation through meditation well he says that the human body is able to cure itself of almost any disease or ailment by thought alone, okay? He says that negative thoughts like stress, anger, fear, okay? He says that these negative thoughts can cause sickness and so many negative effects in our lives. So he was thinking, hmm, if negative thoughts can cause sickness, is it possible that positive thoughts can cause us, can cause our body to cure itself? And he found through his studies that yes, it can, okay? So he says that through meditation, we can literally change our body and cure it of diseases or injuries. And he's, he has done studies with scientific proof in this book and his other books. And I actually used this technique to cure a very badly sprained ankle. It was incredible. I really hurt myself, my ankle, my tobijo. I, I went like, I was walking, and I sprained it really, really bad, and I could not walk, and I used these meditations, and the next day I was jumping. Okay? Now, is that a coincidence, or is what Dr. Joe says in this book true? I don't know. I don't know. But this is not just me seeing it. My girlfriend, she saw my ankle one day was destroyed. Okay? It was huge, swollen up. And the next day she saw me jumping. Okay? It was like a miracle, but our brains are capable of real miracles, according to Dr. Joe. <clears throat> so he says that we can change, we can cure our bodies through meditation, but we can also change our personal reality by changing our personality, okay? And what he means by this is we are able to use meditation to get rid of negative habits and when we get rid of these negative habits and replace them with good habits, 
we literally become different people, okay? It's really fascinating what we can do with our minds and how we can affect our lives, okay? So he says that we can change our future by changing our habits and our thought processes. And this makes total sense, right? Because think about it like this. If you are always thinking thoughts, negative, self-limiting thoughts, such as, I will never have enough money, I come from a poor family, I can never be successful, I am dumb, I am stupid. If you always think these things, then it's true. That's your reality, okay? If you are thinking like that, then you're right. That is true. You will never be successful because your brain, you are telling yourself in your brain, I cannot be successful. So you are limiting yourself in your own mind. Now, if you can change those negative thoughts to positive thoughts, and you can truly convince yourself that you can be successful, you can have money, you can have love, you can be a winner, then you will literally change your future, okay? Because everything in this life is based on our point of view and how we see ourselves, okay? What's the difference between somebody who has a terrible life, who hates their life, who hates their job, and somebody who is incredibly successful and rich or just happy in a loving relationship? The difference is the person who hates their life is walking around every day saying to themselves in their head, oh, I hate this life, I have a terrible job, I hate my wife, I hate my kids, this is not the life I wanted, okay? But the person who walks around happy is saying, oh man, I, I get to go to work and get paid to do something I love, my wife is beautiful and she loves me, my children are the best, okay? It's all about mindset. It's all about mindset and that's what Dr. Joe is trying to tell us in this book. So, the method that Dr. Joe says in this book, and there are, he has so many different methods for meditation in his other books that I've read, but in this one, this is all about rewiring your brain and changing your thoughts from negative to positive, okay? So basically the technique that he, he gives us in this book on how to change our thoughts is first you have to be in a quiet place to meditate, you have to completely relax your body, through various techniques okay and I'll tell you guys in a little bit the technique I use but completely relax your body okay calm down your heart rate slow down your brain waves okay and then you start by thinking about the things that you do not like about yourself the things you want to change okay and an example for me personally when I started using the techniques in this book I wanted to become more patient more patient with my family, okay? Because sometimes I get upset and it's something that I do not like about myself and I want to change it. Sometimes I do not have patience, all right? I want everything to be my way and I want other people to do what I think they should do right away. I don't want to wait. That's not right. That's not loving and I wanted to change that, okay? So in my mind, in my meditation, I would tell myself, okay, next time somebody does something that you don't like, that would normally make you upset or make you mad, you're just gonna breathe, calm down, and be patient, okay? And I think I've made a lot of progress and became a lot more patient after I read this book, okay? So first he wants us to think about the things that we want to change, the bad habits, okay? And commit ourselves to thinking about it to thinking about these things that we want to change because if you are thinking about these 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 habits that you have you are looking at them from a different point of view okay because when you are doing these things you are not thinking about them they are subconscious habits okay but now if you look at them from a calm state you can change it okay you will not let this anger or whatever your negative emotions are carry you away subconsciously, unconsciously. You're going to be conscious and think about it and change it. Okay, so after we, we think about the things that we want to change, Dr. Joe tells us now start to reprogram the good habits, okay? Now at the end of the meditation, you think about what you want in your future, okay? 
So you visualize it. And I love visualization, guys. I love it. I think it's a such a valuable tool. So now we thought about the bad things and what we want to change. Now we think about the good things. So say you you hate your job, okay? You you visualized going into work and getting frustrated with your coworkers or your boss. That's what you want to change. So now you're going to visualize yourself going into work. Think about yourself smiling and being happy, being pleasant with your coworkers, saying hi to your boss. Hey, hey sir, how are you today? All right. All right, sir, let's work hard today and do a good job. Just an example. And then you you visualize things that you want in your future, okay? So maybe you dislike your job. You want to work for yourself and have your own business, okay? So now you're going to visualize yourself doing the things that you would do in your business if it were real, okay? And see it from the point of view as if you are actually living that thing right now. Because our brain cannot tell the difference between things that are actually happening in our lives and imaginal acts, okay? So whether I am learning how to play guitar on a real guitar or if I am meditating and thinking about learning how to play guitar, in my brain, my brain literally thinks that I am playing guitar, even if I am only imagining it, okay? So we can literally change the structure of our brains just by imagination alone. And that's why visualization is such a powerful tool. All right, guys. So that is a super small summary of the wonderful information that is in this book. Now I want to tell you guys the meditation that I usually do based on what I've learned in this book, what I have learned in his other books, Dr. Joe's other books, and based on my own experience, Uh, experimenting with meditation so first I lay down I get very comfortable I put earplugs in earplugs so that I cannot hear anything and I make sure that it is dark in the room okay and then I start by telling myself my feet are completely relaxed my legs are completely relaxed and then I go up my whole body okay my back is completely relaxed my arms are completely relaxed And while I am telling myself this silently in my mind, I completely relax every muscle in my body, okay? And by the time I am all the way up to my head saying my neck is completely relaxed, all of the muscles in my face are completely relaxed, I am in such a complete meditative trance state, okay? It's so peaceful. My whole body is calm and relaxed. So from there, I might focus on the parts of my body that are sore and I want to to heal or that I want to be stronger, okay? The most important part of my meditations is after my body is completely relaxed, I visualize what I want in my life and I ask myself questions like, what would it feel like if I already had this, okay? So say you want a relationship, a happy, healthy, loving relationship, okay? Let's say that you are a woman, okay? You're a woman and you want a man. You ask yourself, what would it be like if I had a good man who cares about me, okay? How would I feel? Then you start to think about the emotions that you would feel. Well, I would feel loved, okay? I would feel loved because this person appreciates me and cares about me. I would feel grateful to have somebody like that in my life. I would feel happy. Because we are always laughing, <laughs> we're flirting and telling each other jokes, okay? And you think about these things and visualize them as if they are real, okay? And then you slowly start to trick, como engañar, you start to trick your brain into thinking that it is real, okay? And once we can convince our brain that this new reality is real, our brain starts looking, buscando, searching, okay? It starts searching for these opportunities in our life, okay? And this is the, the basis of books like The Secret, El Secreto, okay? When, once we can get our brain focused on what we actually want, they say it's the law of attraction bringing it to us, but maybe a more practical way to look at it is that our brain is now primed and ready to search for what we want, okay? 
So if you want to be rich, okay, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be rich. Money is not evil, okay? You can help a lot of people with money. So let's say what you want right now is a lot of money because your whole life you've been poor. You're tired of it. That's alto or alta, okay? I want money now. If you can focus on this and see yourself having money, focus on how would it feel if I had an abundant life, and you can meditate day after day after day on this, your brain is going to start to see opportunities where you can make money, and you're gonna to start to see these opportunities where you never saw them before, okay? And the truth is that those opportunities were always there. They were always there, but you did not see them because your brain was not in that, that mode, okay? It was not functioning like that. And you were not ready for those opportunities, okay? Because you had limiting beliefs. You thought things like, I am poor, I will always be poor, my whole family is poor, I cannot have money, okay? But the only difference between somebody who thinks like that and Elon Musk is Elon Musk believes he can do anything he wants in the world, okay? He does not have limiting beliefs. He thinks he can go to Mars, okay? And guess what? He's right. He's right because he believes it. And a human being who believes that they can do whatever they want is the most powerful force on this planet, okay? All right, guys. I hope that this video was interesting for you. Maybe it will inspire you guys to look into books like this, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. Or maybe it'll inspire you to look into meditation, visual, visualization, and things like that. Because guys, I truly think that these are tools that can change our lives for the better. It's helped me a lot. This stuff, guys, is nothing new, all right? Nothing new. They have been doing these things for thousands of years all over the world, okay? The yogis in India have been doing this for thousands of years. Jesus Christ told his followers, followers to visualize what you want, and if you visualize what you want and believe that you have it, your Father in Heaven will give it to you, okay? None of this stuff is new. This has been around forever. All right, guys, super interesting for me. I hope it was interesting for you. Hope you got some great English and maybe some tools that can help you improve your life. Como siempre, muchísimas gracias por ver. Nos vemos pronto.